Hello, welcome back. This is Lacardian, and today I'm going to be showing you my uh, Turbo Darkness deck versus my Ultra Necrozma deck. I've gotten a friend to come and battle with me, and right now the we are shuffling our decks. The red deck is the Turbo Dark Rai deck, and the blue deck is the Ultra Necrozma deck. So... Uh, I f kind of feel it funny that we chose opposing colors, so the blue deck sits on the red side with my friend, and the red deck sits on the blue side with me. So, yeah, these decks are, uh, do fight well against each other, and if you haven't seen the deck profiles on them, uh, then you definitely should watch them. Because they explain a lot about the cards and everything to go in the deck. So, yeah. Uh, right now we're drawing our prize cards to uh, put in our prize card spot. We'll draw them later in the game when we knock out Pokemon. So, yeah. One thing about our meta is our decks are more evolved to one-hit KOing instead of two-hit KOing. So, you'll see that more commonly. And so, yeah. One mistake I made right here is I drew a card after picking that I would go second. So you see me shuffle that card back into the deck. And then let my friend begin. First things first, he forgets to draw a card. He attaches an escape board to Jirachi. Jirachi, a phenomenal card. Went for $30 before uh, the product of Battle Arena came out with it in it. He also attaches a Steel Energy onto his Ultra Necrozma, and um, another thing is that he plays a Cynthia. And what Cynthia does is it shuffles his hand into his deck. Now, this is a good card. I do like it. It's not as good as Sycamore, but the thing is about the thing about this right now, on this turn, is he was going first and he played a supporter, and that is a uh, error he made, but it's fine. Also, he played Mysterious Treasure. Mysterious Treasure is a great card. A great card for finding most of the Pokemon in that deck and for many other Psychic or Dragon decks. So, he finds a Malamar off that, ready to evolve, and then passes his turn. I put down a few Pokemon, Darkrai EXs, and a Dino, and I attach an energy to Eveltal. And then I use Ultra Ball to discard a Hydreigon and a Dark Energy to go search out an Oranguru. And then I shovel my deck, put it back into the deck position. Then I use Oranguru's ability, uh, Instruct. It allows you to draw up to three cards in your hand um, it, if you do not have three cards in your hand. So... It's a really nice card, and I passed my turn after doing that. Also, I did attack. I used the Oblivion Wing attack on Eveltal, which ex does 30 damage to the opponent's active Pokemon, and accelerates a darkness energy from the discard pile to the bench. So that is nice. Okay, so my friend is using his abilities... He uses um, the Psychic Recharge ability on Malamar to put a Psychic Energy onto his Ultra Necrozma. He uses Stellar Wish to go and grab himself a Trainer card. It is a great ability, and with uh, Escape Ward, it makes it even better. He grabs a Lily off of this, and it, while it's not a phenomenal draw supporter, it is good to have draw in his hand. So, yeah. Puts his back deck back down. And then he uses Cynthia. And uh, shuffles his hand back into his deck. He's surely looking for things like Inkes or Giratinas that can power up his ta attacking states. But either way, Cynthia is just a good card to get your hand uh refreshed and going. 
you can see that both of our starts look pretty nice, and we're slowly getting our engines going. And now my friend puts down a Esper. And Esper is nice because uh, she makes it so that you can triple damage on benched Pokemon. And that may seem not good at all, but you can put 60 damage on one of my Dark Rise and then triple that and they're dead. And saying this, I now realize that Nolte Necrozma GX's attack, that is the GX attack, is really good with Esper for everything that has 180 HP or lo or uh, lower. As you can see, he knocked out my uh, Evelto with the uh, Photon Geyser attack. It is a very powerful attack. Knocks out most Pokemon, although it has a ba low HP range. Uh, I bring up in the Orang Room, play down the Black Market Prism Star. Black Market Prism Star reduces my Darkness Pokemon's prize count by one if they have a Darkness Energy attached to them. This is, this is a great card and really helps me out while playing these cards. So, I attach to my Zoroark and Greninja. Then I Sycamore, and I grab a new hand. Right now, I'm looking for Rare Candy and a Hydreigon to evolve with my Dino, so I can accelerate energy. And I do not find it in this hand, but uh, I still am looking for it throughout this battle. So I pass the turn off. My friend uses Tate and Liza as a switch. To bring up the Jirachi. That is a good move. It would be nicer if he had the item card of Switch. But it's fine right now. Because he has the higher position. He doesn't need to worry about card advantage. He just needs to worry about knocking on my Pokemon as fast as possible. He uses a Mysterious Charger to discard a Reset Stamp. Reset Stamp is banned and expanded. But as I've said in a past video. I do not think Reset Stamp should should be banned unless you're exploiting it as well as some other fun cards and yeah reset stamp is a good card that lets you disrupt other people and uh can really be good it's better than the supporter n who shovels both you and your opponent's hands into their decks and then draw for prize cards because you don't have to disrupt your hand if you have a good hand could just do it to your opponent if they have one prize remaining and look they have a one prize hand so yeah uh my friend just used a stellar wish and he got a great catcher off of it great catcher is the the uh catcher the pokemon catcher that came out in cosmic eclipse that allows us to um discard two cards from our hand then shoot switch our opponents's uh active pokemon with an ex or gx on the bench this is great for getting two or three prize knockouts but still not too phenomenal since there are better stuff like the recent bosses orders in rebel clash and the uh the other cards uh like Pokemon Catcher, where you flip coins instead of discarding cards and only getting an EX or GX. Um, there are, there, and there's stuff like that that are better than it. But, that's the option I gave myself in that deck, since it's very powerful. So, now I'm using, uh, Battle Compressor. Battle Compressor may seem like a bad card at first, but when you really look at it, Battle Compressor is a very nice card. It lets you discard three cards from your deck, and you get to choose them, which is awesome. And I think that because of this, uh, I have to have good graveyard, not graveyard, discard pile interaction. So, I have cards like Versus Seeker, Evil Tall, uh, Hydreigon... And, yeah, I discard an energy using Verity and Forest, which allows me to go get a basic energy out of my deck. 
That may sound bad, but I'm planning on getting a Hydreigon out, so I need energy in the discard pile to accelerate tons of energy upon, upon needing an attacker. So, uh, I do use a Max Elixir, find an energy. Not a Max Elixir, sorry. The Viridian Forest, find an energy and put it into my hand. Then I use Field Blower to get rid of the Viridian Forest so that my friend does not have that kind of advantage. Field Blower is a nice card that came out in Guardians Rising of the Sun and Moon expansion. And a lot of good cards came from Guardians Rising. And I think that Guardians Rising was one of the best sets of the Sun and Moon area. It gave us Field Blower. It gave us... Um, all kinds of cards that were really good. Rescue Stretcher and Tapu Lele GX. Great cards that I do recommend you check out. And so, my friend's turn. It is my now my friend's turn. He is using Psychic Recharge to bring back energy from his discard pile. And then he's using Cynthia. And... Right now, you can see that he probably has the more advantage advantageous board state. He could knock out most of my Pokemon very easily. So, that's that. So, hmm. the thing about my Darkrai deck is it doesn't have that kind of draw. I do. I have thought about this before and addressed it, but I do need a better draw than Oranguru. Oranguru is slower, and I have to use more cards, and if I do not have that many cards in my hand that I can use, it's just not good. So I've been looking into better draw through Pokemon, and I'm thinking about the new Crobat V from Darkness of Blaze, or something like Dedenne GX from a trainer kit. You should definitely check those cards out. They're really good for decks. They are alternate forms of draw rather than just supporters. So, yeah. So, I do use the trainer card N right here. And I talked about N earlier. It is better for drawing with yourself, but worse for disrupting your opponent. Because if it's later in the game and you have one prize and they have two prizes, you want to disrupt the opponent. But, uh, you just can't really without disrupting yourself. Unless you can choose what time it is that you disrupt yourself so that you have a good hand when you do that. So, I do field lower the two escape boards. That does keep the Jirachi stuck in the active. And I do switch to the Zorninja GX. And I believe I was planning to attack with it. I do play the Battle Compressor. Don't find anything. And I don't attack. I don't remember that I uh, wanted to attack. So I've just passed the turn. Which is sad. And it is a bummer. Uh, I should have attacked and gotten the prize from the Jirachi. That would have been better. But, yeah. And you can see my friend now has three Malamars out. He's getting tons of power on the board. He uses a Tate and Liza again to switch. And brings up the Ultra Necrozma. And then knocks out my Zoroark and Greninja GX. So, that was a bla bad decision by me. So, I decide to bring up the uh, Oranger Darkrai EX. to uh, keep the Ultra Necrozma at bay. And I put down a Eveltal. Eveltal is a very nice card. And I do like it in the deck. Then I use a Ranguru to draw a few cards. And then I pass the turn. So my friend draws a card. I can't do much right now. I'm, I have been searching for Hydreigon. For the last few turns. And I have not gotten much so far. My friend. Uh, 
uses the Malamar's abilities to uh, take the psychic energy from his discard pile from his last attack onto the Ultra Necrozma, and then passes the turn. So, yeah, I'm not getting anything right now. I don't know how I can get anything. My hand is not filled with anything that can get my Hydreigon and the Rare Candy. So, yeah. I passed the turn without doing anything. A really bad turn for me. So, my friend attaches an energy, retreats to Rachi, and then brings up the Ultra Necrozma and attacks it for game. Attacks the Dark Ray for game. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe uh, if you haven't done so. Like this video so that you can do more. And uh, also, uh, comment down below uh, if you would like to see more of these. And share these with a friend. This is a good good learning experience to show you how to play certain cards. I do recommend you uh, look through these. Anyway, this is the Cardian. Good day and good night.